All right, let's make some garlic butter salmon bites. So of course, the star of the show is the salmon. Make sure that you get skin off salmon, or if you get the skin on salmon, just take the skin off. So for the seasonings on the salmon, we're gonna use Old Bay, smoked paprika, lemon pepper, garlic powder, some Cajun seasoning and some black pepper. And then for our sauce, we're gonna use some butter, some honey, I have Mike's hot honey, but you can use regular honey. You need some sea salt, Parmesan cheese, some minced garlic, some mayo, parsley, and Italian seasonings. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start on our sauce, because we want that to marinate while we're making our salmon. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of sea salt into the seasoning. And I have about that much, if you can see. Then we're gonna just grate in some Italian seasoning. Next, we're gonna add in our parsley flakes. And that's more so, so the um, presentation can look nice when the sauce goes on. Okay. We're going to add in our black pepper. So let's add that in. I like the coarse black pepper, but use any type of black pepper you have. And we're going to add in our mayo, about two tablespoons or teaspoons uh, rather. So it looks like that for now. I'm going to add in some of the hot honey. Use regular honey if you have it. And then I'm just going to mix it to make sure we have enough of the seasoning first. And I'll let you see what it looks like once I finish mixing it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So that's what it looks like thus far. Um, I still have to add in my Parmesan cheese. There we go. I'm gonna add in the grated Parmesan cheese now. If it'll come out, there we go. And I'm gonna stir that in. And now we have um, one other ingredient that needs to go in here, but we have to cook it on the stove, so we're gonna saute some uh, garlic butter. So let's go ahead and head over to the stove so we can do that because this is the dressing that's going on top of the salmon. So I'll meet you at the stove. All right, so right now I have some garlic and some butter just melting down. Um, we may not use all of this, but I like to have a little extra. We're gonna melt this down and we're gonna let it simmer for about one minute. Then we'll take it off the stove and we'll add it over into our um, dressing that we're gonna add on our salmon. So let's go ahead and get this melted down. Okay, so our butter has been simmering for about one minute. Um, as you can see, I, the garlic is nice and toasted. So we're going to go ahead and pour this mixture into our condiment um, mixture. Well, it's not a condiment, but into our dressing mixture that's going on top of the salmon. So let's go ahead and head over there. All right, I did forget to tell you to add um, some crushed red pepper in there. So I added that in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and add in the garlic butter. Just a little bit at a time. You do want your sauce to be a little runny. So, cause remember we're coating the salmon in it. So you just mix a little bit in at a time just to kind of check the consistency. And we're gonna add the rest in. Let's keep mixing. It's looking pretty good so far. And the mix is complete. So there we have it. Once the hot salmon hits it, once we coat it in there, it's going to be a little bit more liquidy. But let's go ahead and start seasoning our salmon. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is 
clean your salmon, wash it, take off the skin, do all of that. The next thing we're gonna do is cut these into one inch pieces, so, or smaller, depending on how you like it. So I might do my half inch pieces, because I do like small pieces of meat. I don't like those big chicken wings, I don't like big turkey, I don't like any of that. So um, I'm just gonna cut it to my liking. And like I said, it's gonna be like one inch to a half an inch each. And this is a great little snack, or you can make it a meal if you would like with some sides. But I'm doing it as just like, you know, a little snack to eat on. So we're gonna see the thickness. And I like my pieces to be all different sizes. Um, it doesn't have to be the same. I'm not a uniform type of girl. So I'm, I'm, I just like them to just be enough. So like this one is a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit smaller. So they're kind of like nuggets. Um, so I'm just going to keep cutting them up. Alright, so I have all my pieces cut up. I'm going to throw them in a bowl so that I can go ahead and shake all of our seasoning on it. So give me one second. Now that we have our salmon in a bowl, we're going to go ahead and put our seasoning. So I'm going to start off with the Cajun seasoning. Just sprinkling a little bit on there. I'm going to do the Old Bay. Lemon pepper. Smoked paprika. Not regular, smoke. It tastes better. If it would come out, there we go. Garlic powder. And some black pepper. And just so the seasonings can actually stick on it, we're going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil just on top, just like that. And then we're just going to mix up everything, making sure all of the pieces are coated without ha without breaking them. Ooh, it smells so good. Easy recipe, guys. It does not take long. We all know salmon does not take long to cook, especially when you're frying it. And in this situation, we are frying the salmon. So, got everything. So let's go ahead and start coating our salmon. Be right back. All right, so I have our seasoned salmon. I have two eggs in a bowl and I have some flour. I did not season the flour because remember, we're gonna toss our salmon in that mixture that we made earlier. So we don't wanna overly, over, overly season stuff. So I'm gonna take our salmon bites and I'm just gonna put a couple in the egg mixture. We're gonna throw that in the flour. And we're just gonna keep repeating that. Making sure our seasoning stay on just, just a bit. I like to shake my flour up to coat it. And then I take my other hand, not my wet hand, I take my dry hand and I just make sure all the pieces are coated. Then what we're gonna do is set it to a plate, set it on a plate to the side, and we're gonna do the rest. So let's get all of these coated and I'll be back. All right, all the salmon pieces are coated. I let them sit for about one minute. Now we're gonna head over to the stove so we can go ahead and fry them. All right, so we have our grease heated. We have our salmon bites. I'm going to go ahead and just add them in there. Let them crisp up until golden. You don't want to overcrowd the pan. We're just going to let these things go. It should take about six minutes or less. So just keep an eye on them. Like I said, you want them to be golden. They will start floating to the top. So you'll know when they're done. 
So let's go. Okay, so I have taken our salmon bites out. They're still hot. I'm going to take that sauce that we made earlier and I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit and put a little bit on top. Again, the salmon bites are still hot, so that's a good thing because once we stir and coat, it'll melt the uh, sauce a little bit. So I'm just coating it. You probably can't see anything going on right now, but it is melting and it is coating the pieces of salmon. I didn't put all of it in here because I'm not going to eat all of it. And you can always warm it up in the air fryer and then put the rest of the sauce on there should you choose to do so. But I'm just mixing it up. Looks like chicken, doesn't it? But oh, it's good. So now that we have the pieces coated, we're going to go ahead and plate this. And I'll be back to show you the end product. Ta-da! And we are all finished. I went ahead and plated it on a nice little plate against the garlic parmesan salmon bites. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And bon appetit!